So the Street Soccer Stars holiday camp programmes are essentially um, holiday activities for children, typically those that are more vulnerable and maybe on free school meals. I think these are really important for families, like we see it firsthand that this is really helpful for a time away during the half term. I wouldn't be able to work if it wasn't for them because I would be doing four lots of everything and I wouldn't be able to manage it. They are 100% cared for, I've got no worries when I'm at work. They're really safe here, happy. I couldn't ask for anything better. It is amazing, it is amazing, and I wouldn't be able to work without them. And they genuinely love and care for the children, they do. It's been brilliant, they've made new friends, and I've got children from the ages of six up to 15, and even my 15 year old, he's loved it. I never thought he'd actually enjoy going to a group with his siblings at those different ages, but I mean, he's loved it. You know, he wants to do something like this. He didn't know what he wanted to do and this has helped him as well with what he wants to do in the future. So not only has it helped him socially, but it's helped him figure out what he wants to do when he leaves school. Right, so Casey, what, um, what's a healthy meal for you? What vegetables or fruit do you eat during the day? So we have um, healthy food plates that um, the kids really enjoy doing, which is really well because the parents don't come, you know, sometimes come and speak to us and say, oh wow, like my son's at a green bean and he never done that before. So yeah, it, it's very good. The things we have been having is like, I think it's low calories because most of the healthy, rather, most of the time you get vegetables on the side of it. Like when you had the wrap, you had the corn and the cops. So the Street Soccer Stars programme um, is heavily supported by um, local providers and some national partners as well, including Tesco's, who very generously donated cereals and fruit and water and juice for the children, so to make sure that they could have something every day. A lot of families can't afford the food in the half terms. You know, if a lot of people aren't working, the kids come here, they have a healthy meal delivered to them every single day. They have fruit, veg, um, throughout the day juices. They get lots of activities in, exercise. We do lots of sports days, lots of running, football over the park. They don't just make you do football and like, make you do work. They make you like, they give you like choices and different choices and not just like one choice that you have to do. So we've been playing football in the Yeah, morning. I like yeah. football. Um, doing races. Yeah. Dodgeball. Dodgeball? Yeah. Dodgeball, yeah. I yeah? Like that one. You like dodgeball? Yeah. And football as well? What other activities? Oh, I just want to do netball. Netball? Right now. Yeah. Oh, that's why I don't play football now. Have you done dancing? Anything dancing? Yeah, I have. You did, didn't you? No. This is very good for my daughter because she gets to mix with other people as well. And we, at the game, when I come to pick her up or drop her off, I meet other parents as well. So it's a network for me. Secondly, we all know how important and very expensive childcare is. So this kind of program kind of helps everyone, including myself. I'm working. I like working on the campus because we get to see um, you know, like the development of the children over the week, like you get to know everyone, you get to see, you know, sometimes on the first day when they're all a bit shy and by Friday they're all friends and they're all running around and it's, it's quite rewarding to be able to see that and know that you've helped out. When I first came here I, uh, I was really nervous and didn't want to be there and it was like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go go there but eventually I, I did just go there and let my mum go to do her job and then it really um, it really helped me with my anxiety it's what encouraged me to go to school because before I was homeschooled and uh, it really helped me build up the courage to go to school and at the end of it I, um, I felt more confident about a lot of things uh, I felt like I could socialize a bit more um, I wasn't as anxious and I, I've been coming here every year since then. It's a lifeline. I mean, it's helping financially, mentally. I think it's, it definitely needs to carry on if it can, because, I mean, my kids will be definitely coming back, because it's amazing. I think it's got like a family atmosphere. They care about the children. They do so many different things with them. Um, the children respect them as well. They treat them in a way where they can come and talk to them. If there's any problems, they're all resolved really easily. After all these years, I know they're really, really well cared for. They love it here and they wouldn't go anywhere else now. Mm -hmm.